Hi, Assalamu Alaikum. I'm back with another easy breezy recipe. Today I'm sharing my second most favorite food from Italian cuisine. First one being lasagna. Oh wait, I forgot about pizza. Okay, third most favorite food but with a healthy twist. It's cannelloni. But as it's made from zucchini, so I will call it zenaloni. Well, if people can call zucchini noodles zoodles, so why can't I call zucchini cannelloni zenaloni? Hmm? Anyways, before starting off with the recipe, I want to tell you guys that as I was editing this video, I came across the benefits of consuming zucchini and I have started thinking of it as a miracle fruit. Yes guys, it's a fruit, it's not a vegetable. Reading about it made me think of a verse from the Holy Quran where Allah says, And He has created the earth for you. Therein are fruit and date palms, and husk grain and scented herbs. Which is it the favors of your Lord that you will deny? I mean to come to think of it, it is such a tiny fruit and it has so many benefits that you would be amazed. It is high in vitamin A, it is high in vitamin C, it has vitamin K, it has vitamin B6. It has magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, folate and thymine. On top of all these, it also contains small amounts of iron, calcium, zinc and other B vitamins. Whoa! All these vitamins, minerals and nutrients have so many cures. It can help your digestion, reduce blood sugar levels, improve heart health, improve your vision and improve bone health. Being a low carb vegetable, it is perfect for weight loss. Man, I could just go on and on about it. I think I'll make another video just to talk about its benefits. Moving forward with our zenaloni, zucchini is the most favorable fruit that can be used to replace actual high-carb cannelloni pasta. It is much more easier to roll up a zenaloni than filling those tiny pasta holes with your filling, which I can tell is a very time-consuming and frustrating task even if you are using a piping bag. Yes, I have been through it. Okay, so enough chit chat. Let's start cooking. So here are all the things that you will need to make chicken zenaloni. You will need two medium sized zucchini, which you will peel with the peeler to make strips. Two breast fillets. Use one if you're serving four. Because I had some leftover filling and I used it in sandwiches and it was delish. Some spices to marinate the chicken. You can marinate the chicken with your own choice of spices. Um, over here, I used 1 teaspoon salt, 1 teaspoon pepper, 2 teaspoon cayenne pepper, 1 and a half teaspoon Italian herbs, and 2 teaspoon garlic powder. You can adjust the spices according to your taste because we, we like it spicy. 100 gram cheddar cut into squares. You can also use half a cup of shredded cheddar. I use these squares. 1 cup shredded mozzarella and half cup Italian passata, also known as spaghetti sauce or marinara. First thing is to marinate the chicken. Um, we will cut the chicken lengthwise. This cut helps in quick marination and also takes less time to cook as compared to the whole fillet and you still don't lose the grain. After cutting it, pet it dry and rub the spices in. Let it marinate for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, you can work on your zucchini strips. Use a peeler to peel away the strips from zucchini. Three to four strips will make one zenaloni, depending on the width of the zucchini or the width of the strip. After 15 minutes of marination, the fillets are ready to be cooked. In a frying pan, heat a little oil and shallow fry the fillets until they are all done. Take them out on a plate and cool them completely. Once they are variable to touch, shred them and add passata or marinara. Now add 3 4 quarter cups of mozzarella and save quarter cup for the topping. Mix these thoroughly. You can taste and adjust your spices before using it as a filling. 
Now it's time to make tenalonis. Ooh, exciting. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. Place three to four zucchini strips overlapping each other as shown over here. Place generous amount of mixture on top of it and start rolling it down. Over here you can see how I am rolling it. I am also pressing the mixture into shape while rolling the strip into a zanaloni. This helps in forming a cylinder like shape which we require for traditional cannelloni. Yay! Give yourself a pat. Your first zanaloni is done. Now, make some more until you have enough to fill a dish. Spray some cooking oil on your baking dish and place your zanalonis in the dish until the dish is full. My dish was full with 12 zanalonis. Now sprinkle quarter cup of leftover mozzarella on top of the zanalonis, dotted it with some more passata or marinara. Uh, this is totally optional, you can leave it as such but I like some color on my final product so I added some red. Now place your cheddar squares on top of the zanalonis and if you are using shredded cheddar, sprinkle it just on top of the zanalonis and not in the middle. Place it in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius and bake it for 30 minutes or until it starts bubbling and turns beautifully golden from the top. Now pull it out of the oven and marvel at your creation. Your zanaloni is ready. The melted cheese holds the zanaloni together and it doesn't even fall apart. It is spicy, scrumptious and succulent at the same time. Once you have made and eaten this healthy chicken cannelloni, you will forget about traditional chicken cannelloni made with cannelloni high carb pasta. It is healthy, low carb, you can add some more cheese if you want to make it keto friendly and or you can just leave it like that, I think it has enough cheese in it. Replacing cannelloni pasta with zucchini really doesn't compromise the deliciousness and the taste of cannelloni. Do let me know if you try it and share it on my Instagram at um, mahas.shack. I will surely share it in my stories. I post new recipes every Monday and Friday, so subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the updates first. Comment below and let me know what kind of recipes you will be more interested in. I'm always available and reply quickly, so if you have any queries, you can ask them down below. Thanks for watching.